Hello everyone and welcome to another Excel Chat walkthrough video. I'm your host Kevin Kelly and today we're going to be talking about how to sum every nth column in a certain table, table set. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now what we're doing is basically summing here in our results column uh, certain numbers in these rows right here based off of this value n. So this value n is basically telling us, okay, it's going to be every second value in this case. So here it would be 90, 10, and 70 because it's every second number. Here it's every third, so it's going to be 60 and 60. Those are every third. And then here it's going to be every fourth, so it's just going to be 70. Now obviously you can kind of do that right off the top of your head and say, okay, 90 plus 10 plus 70 is 170. But if you have a bigger data set, this is obviously a very helpful tool. Now, we're going to talk about using the formula because it's the syntax that is really difficult, not really the concept. So I've already got the formula here, and we can just kind of walk through it. So as you can see on the outside, we have some product, but we're, we're, we're going to start at, at the beginning because it's a little more complicated than that. The column B4 to G4 is highlighting our column right here, our range essentially. And then when it does minus column B4 plus 1, comma h4 that's the process to which you get the every umph number right so that every second number every third number um in this case we have our column here n and it's going to be every second number so that's why we have h4 there and column b4 plus one is going to be the same for each of these so that's going to be consistent uh throughout now what that does is it basically subtracts numbers gets you to the right data set and sets it up to where it's every second number in this case uh, and mod is helping do that as well. And then some product just takes all of that at the end and sums it together and puts uh, the final result here. So if you hit enter, you can see that it's 170. And if you drag this down, it computes to 120, which is accurate. 60 plus 60 equals 120. And then here it's just 70, which obviously equals 70. Now, like I said before, the concept of this is not that difficult. However, the syntax can be difficult. So it's very helpful to go to the Excel chat website and just read through specifically what each and every syntax means. Um, it's a little bit harder to demonstrate that on a video, but it's a great article to check out if you want to know how to count every other number in a column or maybe every third number in, in a column or in a row uh, or every fourth number and so on and so forth. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video and we hope you tune in again next time. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.